Good morning and welcome to school today. I've got some visitors with me to do the pledge today because we're going to be celebrating our academic team. Remember it's Monday so we'll be singing our national anthem but let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the pledge to the flag. I'm just going to step out with you all that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This lesson is dope. Hmm. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming on the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right, so today is the 13th of um, February. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Remember that this week is Kindness Week and so today if you have a shirt, mine says we rise by lifting others. Uh, teachers, if folks have some shirts like that, please get a picture for me so I can put it to our Facebook. And then tomorrow is wear pink or red, okay? All right, let's see what we're supposed to have for lunch today. It looks like we're having chicken with mini waffles and syrup, mashed potatoes, grape tomatoes, Ooh, that's a rhyme, mashed potatoes, grape tomatoes, and mixed fruit. Let's see who's having a 13th birthday. Oh, we don't have anybody who has a birthday today, and we don't even have any grown-up people with birthdays today. Huh, that's interesting. All right, this is our Black History Month quote. It's from Sidney Poitier. He was the first black actor to ever win Best Actor at the Academy Awards. He's one of my favorite all time. He did a fabulous movie called, it just left my brain. Um, I always wanted to be someone better the next day than I was before. So that's just getting better each day. All right, our manner of the week is if you go to someone's house, be sure you thank their parents before you leave, okay? So if you go to visit, let's say, Tommy's house, and before you leave, say to Tommy's parents, thanks for having me over. That's always a very polite thing to do, all right? Um, and remember that our mi mission here at Red Oak is for academic excellence, we're using our brains, having a nurturing environment so our hearts feel good, and then looking to the future, making sure that we are life ready, our passion and our purpose. All right, I thought I had a, my attendance sheet here someplace. I know I saw it, you guys. Hold on. Maybe it's stuck someplace else. Let's look real quick. Well, that's the weirdest thing. That's two days, you guys, that I have put it on my little notepad, my little clipboard, and then it disappears. Who would be taking that for my... That seems very silly, though. Ah, no, no. All right, let's see. Congratulations to Miss Lee's class. They've completed their re their eighth red oak chart. And let's see. Mr. Spradlin has, oh, here it is, completed his fifth red oak chart. All right, and I found it. It was stuck to Mr. Spradlin's tape there. Um, let's see. 92-2 was Friday. We need to get to 96 to do anything. Fifth, uh, second grade was our winner for the week. They'll be dismissed first. Um, Kells had the only perfect attendance room, so only Miss Kells' class had a perfect attendance this week. All right. Today we have a homophone, hole and hole. So this is my dog dug a hole under the fence, um, and so that doesn't have a W, but this one has a W. He was very helpful when he swept the whole house. So this is a big, giant part of something like a whole pizza or a whole cookie or a whole banana, but this is something you dig in the ground. So if it has the W, it means it's a bigger thing, okay? All right, so we've got, you think you're pretty close, Miss Hayden? We've got Miss Hayden here to celebrate our academic team. All right, over the weekend, our academic team competed in our district competition, which is 
subject area testing, language arts, arts and humanities, science, social studies, math, math and composition. Uh, we had a lot of people place. Um, uh, everybody worked their hardest and gave up their Saturday to do that. So we had Carter Murphy was first place composition. What place math? Third place. Third place math and fifth place. And that's last year. Oh. I didn't know if he was. Oh, he's just he's just he wearing all the medals. Yeah. He's got all and, and he's got that giant brain he, around his he neck. He got the too. brain chain from Superintendent's Cup. Uh -huh. Then we had <laughs> Bundy. Come here. <clears throat> Mr. Bundy. Jackson Bundy, what did you play? Second place social studies. Second place Tied social studies. Ryan, come I'm over here. He was here. Mr. Ferguson. He was here. Fourth place, language arts. Language arts, yep. Fifth place in arts and humanities, Mr. Matthew White. He wasn't there to get his medal, so. Da, 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 da. Science, oh yeah. And then also giving her medal to is it the fourth place in arts and humanities, Miss Hazel. <laughs> and then uh, Cruz Valle is not here yet, um, but he placed first in science. And so, uh, a lot of people all participated. So you guys all come back behind me, so we can everybody can see your lovely faces. Um, like like I said, and we placed what overall? <clears throat> we placed third overall. Uh, quick recall team third overall as well. Uh, point and a half from oh, being second overall. Yeah, point and a half they were. Half. So. I, I'm... Carter, get in the picture. Where's the oh, morning Carter, get, get in the picture. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. All right. All right. We are so proud of you guys. So if you see an academic team member, tell them thank you for representing our school so well, and they didn't run around the cafeteria, which made me super proud. I know. Yeah, there were some pretty wild people there, too, so... All right, I've got some Raider role models that I'm going to give out. Shh. Hey guys, I'm going on. Aubrey in Mr. Shelton's class made good decisions. Cooper G paid attention um, and helped solve a new whiteboard problem. Carter Hammond was silent in the hallway. Bristol in Mr. Shelton's room had good decisions in the hallway. Landon Plot shared with a friend. David K in Miss Lee's room helped a friend. Camden Rust helped a friend. Bree Murphy chose to be loyal and told me why. I love that. Trey in Mr. Shelton's room did his best on iReady. Aaliyah Askin saw a friend didn't have a ring from a cupcake and offered hers. Rhodes Clark helped a friend. Ben Land always sets a good example in the hallway. Fatih Sukhan worked hard and tried his best. Caleb Ely was silent in the hallway. Bradley Hall tried his best on his reading. Kenna Gaylor set a good example. Aiden in Ms. McDermott's room read a story with expression. Mia B with Ms. McDermott's room, um, let's see, was an active listener. Colette in Ms. McDermott's room paid attention. Avery in Ms. McDermott's room practiced her reading skills. Will Wyman had amazing leader-like behaviors during music while there was a sub, great job. Brindley in Mr. Shelton's room had a growth mindset. Kenda Gaylor in Miss Quinn's class set a good example. Christian in Mr. Shelton's room reread his short answer before turning it in. Violet Goldie completed her missing work quickly. Great job, Violet. <clears throat> Evelina M worked hard to catch up on iReady. Oliver Lee got control of his big feelings and worked through a problem. And then RJ Caver, this one's for Miss Kava, Miss um, Kayla. Uh, stayed on task and tried his best for the entire math lesson in groups. Great job, you guys. I love that. Lots of cool things. All right. Tomorrow's Kona Ice. No, it's not. It's next week. Never mind. I was trying to get ahead of myself there. So um, here's an interesting um, fact. Swans are one of the largest flying birds and can weigh up to 30 pounds. So that's a lot to get 30 pounds in the air with just your wings. What do you call a dog who can tell time? A watchdog. Um, let's see. 
Oh, here's one for all you golfers out there. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? I bet you've heard it, because he had a hole in one. <laughs> what kind of beans don't grow in the garden? Jelly beans. And why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> that's a funny, that's an old one. That's from when I was a kid. All right, let's say our red oak expectations. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and your feet to yourself and that you are always, always kind. And remember that our hallways are silent places. Have a fabulous day. Do your work and do it well. And I'll see you in the morning. Love you guys.